my car. We'll look for it together. Did you say anything to her? Huh? No, nothing. Did you raise the same doubts about our marriage that you laid on me? Oh, come you on. You just couldn't Frank, keep quiet, could you, Frank, Pop? come on. I don't want you two to be happy. No, that's not it? true, because you said I could never make anyone happy. That's I heard not, myself. That is not what I said, Frank. I can't believe I'm even talking oh, to you. Oh, come on, Frank. I want this to be a happy day. I want it to be a perfect day between you two. Something you can remember together. Come on. What the hell ever happened? She never let on that anything was even wrong. What, did she say anything before she bolted? On one minute, we're reciting her vows. I, I, I told her that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her, and... And, and? Well, then she turned to speak, and then she just had this look on her face. What kind of look? Like, like she was just frozen, and I don't know why. Has anyone seen my mom? Natalia, what are you doing out here? I don't know. Just, I was taking a stroll in my big white dress. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for you back at the church. We should get you back to Frank. No, no, no. I can't. I, I can't go back there. I can't marry Frank. It's I, not right. The guy is crazy about you. The whole Cooper family wants to marry you. Are you kidding? Yeah, I wish I could just go back to the church and I could say I'm sorry and, you know, start all over. Because I love the Coopers. I really... I love the idea of Rafe and I being part of such a big family. And Frank... He is good. He's a good man, so do it. Come on. I can't. It's not right. I I wish it was right. You have no idea how much I wish it was right. Well, luckily for you, I'm your maid of honor, and I take my duties very seriously, so I'm going to get you back there and, and, and get no, you no, back no, to no, Please just let go. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is the future that, that, that you've always wanted, right? It's, it's, it's what well, you didn't get to have with Gus. It's, it's one that you deserve. I'm not going back. I've done enough damage. No, you're not thinking clearly. I am thinking clearly. Probably for the first time I am. I, I can't yes, marry. Yes, you can. You can marry Frank. I don't love him. I love you. I love you, Olivia. Do you know what you're saying? I guess this memorial when you told me that you loved me. I wasn't exactly surprised. You weren't. I, th I think that I've known for a while and I just, I was so afraid to actually hear it and I, I would change the subject. We can do that now if you want. Last chance. No, this... Whatever this is, I... This is... This doesn't happen. Not in my world. And it, it really scares me. And then... Something changed. Some, something happened and I started to feel the same way that you felt. And... I don't know when. I don't know... I don't know if we were getting Emma together to take her to school. I don't know if we were just sitting around and talking and it just felt so right. I, but it happened and, and I realized what? That you are my family. That you are everything to me. If that's not love, I don't know. You never said anything. Because honestly, I, I didn't know if I felt good or bad about that. Maybe a little bit of both. I know I've felt the same way. And that's when I realized how brave you are when you, when you could say, when you could say those words. And, and then I tried to say that to Frank, and I couldn't. And now here we are. It's just, it's, what, what is that? It's new and it's different. It's a relief, isn't it? I mean, to have it out in the open and I can finally look you in the eyes. Are you as confused as I am? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just, I, I, I feel like I can't just pretend that this hasn't happened. I can't, I don't, it's not fair to us. 
And it's not fair to Frank. Oh, oh God. God. What have I done to Frank? I checked the parking lot. Olivia's car's gone. What did I leave with that Um, you know what? Your mom and Natalia are great friends. And, well, friends need each other at a time like this. Why did you leave her own wedding? You know what, Emma? You know when you're in school and you get all nervous before you take a test and all that, you know, because you really want to do well and you want to make sure you have all the right answers? I think that's what uh, Natalia's pretty much feeling right now. It doesn't mean she doesn't want to get married. It just means she's not ready yet. That's all. Good, because I like being a flower girl. And you're a beautiful one. And I'm also glad that your mom's taking care of Natalia, because if there's anybody that can make her feel better, it's your mommy. They're not at the house, Pop. I didn't tell me what. We're gonna go. We're gonna pick up your mom, pick up Natalia, and be back in a minute or nothing. You look so sad. And you look beautiful in that new dress. And that makes me happy. I'll tell you what, um, why don't you go inside? Because everything's going to be fine. And I promise you, I'm going to work things out with Natalia, OK? And thank you for my little hug. Frank was something else with kids, you know? You're gonna have kids of your own, you and Natalia. Well, if I ever, yeah, well, if I could ever find her. You'll find her, you'll bring her back, you'll get married. You're gonna be a, the best father in the world, the best husband in the world, everything I was. Listen, I'm sorry that my bitch. Pa, please. Uh, you know what? I know you meant well, okay? I'm just been a little edgy here. I, I just couldn't believe that I was actually getting married today, you know? And I guess I'm not. Well, you know, maybe you rushed it a little bit. I thought marriage was the only way that we could be together because of her values and all that. So I guess maybe I did push it. Maybe I pushed it for selfish reasons because I really want to be with her so <laughs> badly, Bob. You are in love. I am, Bob. Well, go, I go. love her. I love her with all of my heart. Then tell her what you told me. Bring her back in and say I did. Come on, go. Go. Oh. I can't believe I've hurt Frank like this. He's such a good man. You know what? I think he'll actually understand. How could he possibly understand? I should call him or something, right? Should I just call him? Well, and tell him what, that you have an unusual interest in your maid of honor? You're right. I just, I'm, I'm in the church and I'm, I'm standing there underneath that big cross. And I know it's so wrong because I'm lying to Frank. And worse, I'm lying to myself. Natalia, I, you've done you've done nothing wrong. Except shatter Frank's life. And what are the Coopers gonna think of me now? Does that really matter? Of course it matters. They're 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 all good people and I, I'm not. You are the same good person that you've always been, mm -hmm. and you have nothing to apologize for. I disappointed a good man. You know what? This is my fault. It's my fault, so I'll fix it. I should never have unloaded on you the way I did on your, on your wedding day. Sometimes I jumped in a moment too soon or held on too long. All you did was just tell the truth. What good is that, though? What good is that kind of truth when all it's going to do is hurt other people? Natalia? <laughs> 